What's going on everybody? Beast the Gamer here. I want to talk to you guys today about honesty. And I think that being honest is paramount in any successful relationship, be it, be it business, be it personal, uh, and, and just be it in life. I think that honesty is a really great strategy and uh, it'll get you pretty far. Now personally, I think that the best way to go about honesty is to live a life that you don't have to lie about. And uh, I try to actually live by that code. It's like being Naruto or something. I try to live by a code that if there's something, if something happens that I feel uncomfortable about, I'll still tell you the truth about it because later on in life, it could come back to bite me in the ass. I'm sure you guys have had situations like that where you, you don't know whether or not you should tell the truth. And then all of a sudden, a situation arises where the truth comes out anyway and you are a liar from that point. Once you lie to someone, you lose credibility in the future. And uh, that can really affect any relationship that you have, be it business or personal. And it's just a life lesson. You know, uh, a lot of young people haven't learned this yet. And, and unfortunately, many, many older people haven't learned this yet. And sometimes major corporations haven't learned this. Now, it doesn't mean it has to stay this way. Usually you learn from your mistakes or you're doomed to repeat them. And it appears that Microsoft's Phil Spencer is at least on the right track to redemption for Microsoft's Xbox division. Now when I'm talking about this, I'm talking about the appearance or lack thereof of information that was flowing from Microsoft during the announcement of the Xbox One, during the E3 debacle with, you know, the always online, the DRM, the used game policies. And uh, I remember watching E3 after these announcements and waiting for them to address these issues with, it was no, there was nothing coming from them. And that confused me. And it angered me. And it angered millions of other Microsoft fans. And it was detriment to the success of the Xbox One. I'm not saying the Xbox One is not doing fabulous right now because it absolutely is. But it would definitely have done better if they had addressed these situations uh, in a more forthcoming manner. If they had actually came out and said, hey look, we know that you guys don't like this situation. Uh, it doesn't mean it's etched in stone. This is just the direction that we want it to go with our Xbox One. And if it doesn't work, we can always revert back to the old ways, but we think this will work better for you. I think if Microsoft had actually done that, then things would have worked out tremendously different for them. There's an article on IGN.com, I'm going to read it for you guys now, that addresses the situation and the way Phil Spencer actually addressed it himself. Microsoft plans to be direct and honest with fans. Microsoft Game Studios Vice President Phil Spencer said that Microsoft could have done a better job handling information regarding the Xbox One last summer following the console's reveal. The Xbox One announcement last May was surrounded by confusion regarding the console's always online requirements and use game policies. Microsoft later reversed the daily online check-in and used game restriction policies in June in response to consumer criticism. At a, presenta at a presentation at SXSW in Austin, Texas yesterday, Spencer said Microsoft didn't effectively convey its message to consumers, and that's kind of an understatement. Quote, I look at last summer, and that wasn't a high point for me. Coming out of the announcement of the Xbox One and E3, where I thought our message around what we believed in was confused, mainly by us, Spencer said during the presentation at Spike TV, with Spike TV's Geoff Kiley. Quote, I learned a ton last summer as a leader of our groups and in our company about being true to your core vision around what a product is, not being confusing, and frankly, when you're going to say something to a consumer that might put them off, it's better to just be direct and honest rather than trying to sugarcoat something that might be controversial, Spencer said. Before the end of 2013, Microsoft sold 3 million Xbox Ones following the console's November launch. During that time, Spencer and other Microsoft execs and employees have attempted to be more uh, active on social media, responding to consumer questions and concerns in an effort to better connect with fans. Now, I think that's a great plan. I honestly respect what he had to say about it. Uh, and, and if he continues with this this framework, this mentality, it could actually turn things around because I think Microsoft's doing really well. Quote, I'd rather deal with the controversy of what we're doing and have, have an above-table conversation about that topic rather than trying to sugarcoat it with some other news, Spencer said. One of the reasons I wanted to be a little more active socially was because I knew the core of why we were in this industry was not an evil reason. It was to really... 
delight consumers and build a great product that millions and millions of people would love. That's true love. That's gaming love. I think that is wonderful, honestly. I couldn't imagine, you know, uh, being in the position he's in and not feeling that way. It's unfortunate that they went about it the way they did initially. You guys let me know what you think about this new outlook and the way they're trying to go on about changing the spectrum or the field of thought for Microsoft Xbox One and Xbox 360 owners. I think it's great, Mr. Spencer. I respect that. You're one of the first guys I can say that about in Microsoft. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.